Cleanup continues at a home in the Fairfax district that was piled high with trash. In the first day alone, sanitation crews say they collected more than seven tons of trash. NBC 4's Alex Rozier is live outside the home tonight with where things stand right now. Alex. Kathy, I spoke with one sanitation worker today who told me in his career that's lasted more than 25 years, he's never seen a mess like this, but they've made a lot of progress. Yesterday in the front yard, today in the backyard, but we learned this morning the problems don't stop here. Just wait till you, we see what we found a few blocks away. After sunrise, crews started to remove more trash outside this home in the Fairfax district. They worked as rats ran around the yard. We've so far taken out about 7.2 tons of trash and about 1,000 pounds of household hazardous waste. This morning, LAPD went to the front door with a mental health professional trying to contact the homeowner. His sister showed up later in the day. Have you made any contact with him? Well, yeah. What's he have to say about all this? He won't tell me anything. Leah Gaon said her brother has autism and needs help. She said she used to own this home and gave it to her brother when she was diagnosed with cancer. How do you feel seeing what's happened with it? How do you think I feel? It, it's, it's deplorable. But as it turns out, the problems don't stop here. A few blocks away, we found this motor home, this Dodge pickup, and this yellow car all filled with trash. All of them are owned by the same man who lives here. This could have been taken care of years ago. Neighbors say they've asked the city for help for years, but nothing happened till the mayor heard about it this week. I just feel that the city does need to do more to step in and, and protect the majority of the residents in this neighborhood. One person showed us this complaint filed last September. The city's complaint hotline 311 said the case was closed, but trash kept piling up. Here's council member Katie Yaroslavsky. I think um, 311 sometimes feels like a black hole, and what we want is for people to call 311 and then call their, their field rep because that flags for us that we need to put pressure on the department. Either way, the cleanup continues while the city tries to help the homeowner. We need to take care of this gentleman. A complex problem impacting this man, his home, and many families in the Fairfax district. And as we bring you back out live here on Martell Avenue, I'll tell you that we have made contact with the homeowner. He did not want to talk or be shown on camera, but Mayor Bass's team tells me they have talked with him, but wouldn't say more for privacy reasons. As for the cleanup, the crews just finished working here today, but we still have a lot of questions about how we even got to this point. And after two days of cleanup, just how much did this effort cost? These are some of the questions we are asking. We'll bring you updates as we have them. But for now, reporting live in the Fairfax District, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News.